absolute belter of a day. Unbelievable, it's like 15 degrees or something, no wind whatsoever. So Grant and I are heading up the mountain to do a spell of warm camping. We've been walking for about, I'm gonna say half an hour, just so it doesn't make me sound too unfit. 15 minutes. <laughs> 15 minutes, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we're heading up to uh, Clint Van Vau, uh, which is uh, a lake that I've camped at before. I'll put a link to the other video up there. And the last time I came here, it was miserable as anything. You couldn't see anything. It was foggy, it was snow, it was icy, freezing cold. Couldn't be any further from that today. It's, in fact, we're getting eaten alive by, by these midges as well. So we're gonna try and get to the top of the mountain as quick as we can. Sun sets in about an hour. It's an absolutely clear blue sky. So I uh, don't think we're rushing to get any under lighting from the clouds, but yeah, let's get up there quick. We've got that. 15 dogs with us as well. <laughs> so it'll be like a, a doggy's day out as well as a wild camp. Right then, I'll see you in a minute. Well, we were supposed to be making a frantic effort to get up the, the mountain as quick as possible, but seeing these reflections along the, uh, the lake at the bottom of the mountain, and wow. I had to run down and grab that. Absolutely gorgeous. So I just took a couple of photographs. One on the uh, iPhone as a panoramic, because I had the uh, 16 to 55 on the Fujifilm X-H1s. It wasn't quite wide enough, so I got a nice, nice couple of abstract shots there. They come out lovely. Really, really nice. Amazing reflections. So still, right, get up that mountain quick. Finally set the tent up, but the light has gone absolutely amazing. Um, we're just waiting for the sun to go down. It looks like we're going to get a bit of colour. We wasn't expecting to get any cloud in the sky at all. It was completely clear, but it looks like there's a bit of haze appearing on the, on the horizon. I can see for miles, it's amazing. So really, really nice sort of stripy lines in the sky now. So we're just going to stick the, uh, the long lenses on, give it sort of five minutes before that sun goes down, I think. That's all it's going to take. So yeah, just uh, fancy got over here. Realised that I haven't got the polarizer adapter that will take the yeah oh, and drop it on the floor. <laughs> um, so I haven't got the step up ring, so let me put the polarizer on. So I've just got the XF 50 to 140. Um, I've got the teleconverter on there as well, so it's given me uh, 100 to 300 equivalent. I'm just going to zoom in and look out for some details on the on the horizon there. It should be really nice. It's like a windmill farm over there. Probably can't see that. So. Um, it might be quite nice, but it's gorgeous colour. So yeah, it's going to get set up for that. I think about F8 and then, uh, well, it's your one, F11. F11 is with, this, with the teleconverter on. That confused me then. So yeah, go down to F5.6 will give me the equivalent of F8 and uh, pick that out, pick out some details. Should be nice. Yesterday's been amazing. Got here just in time for the uh, for the sunset. Caught some colour over there. That was really really nice. So just had the uh, the XF 5140 with a teleconverter on there. So it gave me about 300 mil. So I was able to zoom in quite nicely into the um, into the wind wind farm wind farm. I think that's what they're calling it. Um, yeah. So that was the colours there look really nice. Hopefully that will that come out well. Um, dog here is absolutely spark out next to me. Callie's plum tucker bless her so we're gonna have an early night we've had a wander around taking some a bit of bit of astro uh astro shots i've got the uh, fujifilm xh1 with the samyang 12 mil 
ready to go. Uh, it's all ready, set up. Just got to chuck it on the tripod, grab my boots, get out there. Turns out the Milky Way is actually in the other direction, completely to where I thought it was going to be. <laughs> uh, but we'll hopefully get a photo of the Milky Way. So I've never done that before. That'll be amazing. So yeah, I'm going to have a. Say it's probably about twelve o'clock now. So I've only got about an hour's kip, and then up again for six o'clock for sunrise. Um, so yeah, absolutely knackered. But yeah, it's been good so far. So if I don't see you in a minute, and the astro didn't come out, I'll uh, see you in the morning. Hopefully, I will. Take care. Look at that sky, got a bit of colour, absolutely fantastic. It's quite cold though, isn't it? It's quite cold, <laughs> colder than I thought it was going to be this morning. But it is about five minutes before sunrise. In fact, it's probably bang on sunrise now. I've just been trying to get a get the camera set up on the edge of the uh, cliff here. Just I'm just setting the camera up just so I can get a panoramic of the whole scene. Um, I've got the uh, they still got the 12 mil Samyang on from last night. Um, and the polarizer, that's pretty much it. Just the F11, uh, focusing about a meter in front of the camera. And I'm just gonna bracket, just a three stop bracket, just to give me some uh, nice dynamic range to play with. I think when the light comes up, it's gonna light all this up really, really nicely. So it should be really nice. And if I had time, I'd run and, run and get the kettle on. I think we have got time really, before the sun comes up over there. Probably got at least 20 minutes before we need to worry about the sun coming up over there, haven't we? Yeah, I might get the kettle on then. <laughs> Absolutely gasping. Uh, but yeah, the camera's all set up ready. I've uh, got my filters and everything here just in case as well, but I don't think I'm gonna need that. Um, yeah, so yeah, let's get the kettle on. How gorgeous is that? The sun is up and it's lighting everything up. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just keeping an eye on the coffee. We've got that boiling at the same time. I was trying to, oh, right. <laughs> trying to set the place on fire. Oh, blow up another jet boil. Um, yeah, so I've upped the, uh, I've upped the, the aperture now to uh, F11 because it's starting to light up a little bit more and I'm hoping to get a bit of a starburst. So maybe it might even go to F16 in a second. Oh, it's quite windy, I can't see. <laughs> um, yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. So give it a couple of minutes and perhaps we should get some uh, nice detail on all these lines here in the, fall, on the, in the front of this rock. It's absolutely amazing. So yeah, panoramic. It's about, it's worked out to be about quite, quite a big panoramic. It's about six, six, uh, six vertical images, three stops each one with the polarizer on. And that's pretty much all it was, to be honest. There's like one cloud in the middle of the sky there, see that? And the light is catching the side of that cloud, absolutely gorgeous as well. Let's grab another one of them while that light's on there now. That's fantastic. Got Grant on the coffee. Happy days. Couldn't go any better. Gorgeous morning. The sun is booming through there. Absolutely amazing. So getting a nice starburst there. I'm at F16, just trying to, still bracketing. Still got my pano going. And the, it's starting to catch, if you look over there, it's starting to catch the side of the mountains now as well. So. Is, is that a mountain? It's more of a hill, I guess, isn't it? <laughs> this, yeah, this is more of a hill. <laughs> I'm bigging it up a little bit. I was just thinking, how could it would be if we could um, fly over, that'd be amazing. Let's get it on. Get me drone going. See if we can crash into the lake. I'm absolutely appalling with this thing, so <laughs> apologies if this doesn't look very cinematic and amazing. But yeah, got me Mavic Air, let's get, let's get going.
what a stunning, stunning morning. We are both struggling. There's no real reason to rush for once. I haven't, got to rush, I haven't got to rush off to work this morning, so Grant's still chilling in the tent there. And the dog does not look like she's in any rush to come here. Um, I've got this, the, the sun's gone quite high now, so it's casting a shadow down, you're probably not going to be able to see it, it's so harsh, down the side of the mountain. It's created this really, really nice sort of diagonal lines across the mountain. It's really difficult to photograph, so I've tried a few things. Um, bracketing just in case, although I'm hoping to get it in one shot just to get really, really nice contrast the image. So not looking for dynamic range, but just like the really, really dark foreground here and just to emphasize them lines that are coming down. I, I bet you can't see it. Or you can just about see it. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Uh, so it's absolutely fantastic. So you're looking to pick out a square, basically. Um, I think I'm going to do it. I'll try a wide shot as well, but I think the best shot is going to be the, uh, the sort of isolated square part of that. Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's quite hazy now, though, but it's really warm. I'll take this coat off in a minute. Yeah, amazing. So grab this shot. Might have even have another coffee and then get the breakfast going. <laughs> Very sad to leave this place this morning. I think Grant's got a tear in his eye. <laughs> it's unbelievable. So we're packed up and we're going to head back down to, towards the car. It's quite nice just to have a relaxing morning, but we do need to head back at some point, I suppose. So yeah, going to wander down. Uh, thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. It's probably going to take us about 40 minutes to get back to the car. So I'm going to end it now before I look complete wreck. <laughs> um, please hit the subscribe button. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, the like button. Drop me a comment down there, be good to, be good to hear from you. And I look forward to seeing you again. Take care.